the Saturday Night Ride with DJ Epps. It's time to turn up your smart device and crank it loud. Hey, yo, F, let these motherfuckers know. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, DJ F, Rock the Bells. LL Cool J, Rock the Bells, Sirius XM Channel 43. We here live and direct on the Saturday Night Ride. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. You know what I mean? Share the live. Whatever you're doing, man, just support your boy. You already know, man. And tonight, today... Riding shotgun, I promise you. My guy Major Nine coming through. Major Nine in the building. <laughs> what it do? What it do? Everything Appreciate good, you, my boy. How are you? I'm happy. I'm doing good. You know it's holiday time. I'm trying yeah, to get the yeah, gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Merry Christmas to you and Same the family. You. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Family, you know what it yes, is, sir. and I appreciate you coming by the station today, man. Appreciate you for having me. Thank All you. day, fam. Yes, Yo, first things first. Just want to congratulate you on you accomplishing your dream as a musician. I know you 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 you, you do other things, but yes, as a sir. musician, you know, what I seen and what I recently read, you know what I mean? I'm very, very impressed and proud because you from Miami, you from the crib, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. And, and, and you made it happen, so congratulate to you, my man. Thank you, appreciate that. All day. Now, we, we, we've been busting this new single that you got out with Kodak Black called Shorty. Yes, sir. This is off the new album. Talk to me about the new album. Nothing major. You know, it dropped December 15th. You know, we got a, we got a lot of bangers on there. A lot of people been telling me no skip. It's like a no skip album. But mm -hmm. that shorty was what a lot of people from Florida wanted. So we had to drop it. You linking up with Kodak, was that a, 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 a must for you? Was that a, a an honor? Was that like, yo, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, all of the above, basically. You know, we locked in some years ago, probably like five years ago. Right. You feel me? And, you know, ever since then, it's just been business. You feel me? Like, I ain't the type, you know, I ain't finna be in your, in your section. You know, I don't really need too many people in my section. But, you know, we just locked in for business. And, you know, that yeah. respect just gave us, a, like, a brother, you know. That's my boy. That's my brother right Yeah, now. yeah. Shout to Yak. Shout to all yes, my sir. Zos Shout out there. Um, how was the studio working process? Was it quick fast or you know in a sense of sending music mm -hmm. it was fast though because i recorded that in la right and i sent it to kodak and he sent it back probably like two days later so i probably had the song for over a year you know and really yeah i had that song for a little minute you know just finishing up and then splitting the verses doing all the little engineering behind it it came out to be the masterpiece that it is right now and in case you don't know what we're talking about, man, I'm going to play it right quick, man. It's the brand new single, my man Major Nine. It's called Shorty, featuring Kodak Black. Yes, right here on LL Cool J Rock the Bells Radio, your boy DJ Epps. Let's go! Yeah, 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 it's your boy DJ Epps, LL Cool J Rock the Bells Radio, Channel 43, Sirius XM. You see what I did right there. I know y'all heard the sample, you know what I mean? Shout out Dog Plies as well. You know what I mean? T-Pain, Ply. Yeah. You know, drummer Boy. Ain't Drummer Boy made the original? I, I believe so. I Shout believe out to, so. You know, Shout all out to them, Drummer man. Boy. Shout That's out to all guy. them, man. Um, yes, sir. So, so, you know, what made you go that route? Because, you know, a lot of artists tend to um, sample, yeah. but some don't want to sample because of clearance and yeah. everything else. Was it um, a snap? For you, was it everything okay? Was you know um, what I mean? Did you did you have to hit up plies and be like, yo, look what we doing over here? I've been locked in with plies. You know, I've been trying to hit his phone too recently so he could get on this one. You know, yeah. we, we we really like me and Kodak kinda had like the same mindset, you know, based on the song, you know, like just the certain people we wanted on it, you feel me? But mm -hmm. you know, just getting in touch with, you know, everybody busy. They got their own route, so Right. I'm, de I'm definitely locked in with Plies. I got Plies number, so I can hit him up. I, I got to lock in with T-Pain, though. Right. I'm, I'm trying right, to lock right, in right, with right. T-Pain, you feel me? So that really, that whole Florida connects, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be big. Um, you know, some of your top artists that you like listening to growing up as a young major, um, I believe one of them is Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne, you know, that's big. Lil Wayne big in Miami. Who else? Jeezy. Yeah. Ross, Trick. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's the that was the game day playlist. You know, that's still a game day playlist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sir. But yeah, we big. Down here we big on Trick. We big on Jeezy, Ross. 
Um, when it come to dancing, you got different. You got different DJs. We pay respect to. That's right. why my music. I always try to pay respect to the music that kind of inspired me or pushed me to be where I'm at right now. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, everybody, man, if you just tuned in, my man Major Nine is in the building right about yes, now. Sir. Um, dope artist, um, also a dope producer. Appreciate Which it. Which came first? Um, you started producing first, huh? I say production. Doing pro- like producing some beats came first because that's what that was my main focus at first. So, so you really, as a DJ, I you know. It's an executive producer for me. You know what I mean? I like to hear the sound from a producer and I'll, I'll help put it together. Yes, sir. But you got the patience to sit there and hit that drum machine and create that sound? Oh, yeah. I could do it. Because, you know, I, um, I'm not a beat maker. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a difference. No, you know, no shade to the beat makers. Right. But I actually could play instruments. So sitting down there. Nah, stop playing. What, what instruments can you play? The sax? What are we doing? The drums? Nah, I ain't going to lie. I stayed away from the woodwinds. But I'm going to, yeah, I could play some brass instruments. I started on drums. Drums, right. like, that's probably the easiest instrument to me. But actually knowing the instruments and knowing how they're supposed to sound, like, you know, making a beat beat is easy for me. Right. Yeah, right. Sir. Um, so. You end up producing for Ross, one of your favorites. Yes, sir. And that's um, uh, Apple of My Eye. Yes, sir. We're featuring Raphael Sadiq. Talk to me about that, man. How, 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 how did you get Ross to pay attention to your production and landed a situation with Ross on his album? Um, actually, just getting his uh, attention, you know, just working. You mm-hmm. know, down in Miami working, you know, getting my name out there, you feel me? I... I wasn't always in these rooms, you feel me? So mm-hmm. just working and getting my names in these rooms, you know, somehow, you know, through it, uh, one of my teammates, his parent linked us up, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it just, we made history after that. We ended up, I ended up sending Sneak my beats. Right. And, you know, Sneak had, you know, Sneak going through the beats for him, and he gave that beat, and Sneak hit me back like, boy, you got a hit, like, this what we going with. Me, uh, I didn't know it was gonna be the intro though. You know right, that right. was big for me. You know, making Yo, the beat big, but yeah. for, to be the for intro, it to be the intro of Ross yeah. album, and we're talking about rather than rather you than me. Yeah. Go get that album, everybody, and pay attention. The first record, Apple of My Eye. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop it right now. We can yes, do that. Sir. Let's drop it. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Featuring that. Raphael Sadiq, yes, man, sir. right here on LL Cool J, Rock the Bells Radio. Your boy DJ Epps, Mr. Miami, in the building with my man Major Nine, riding shotgun. Let's go. Yeah. What up, it's your boy DJ Epps, LL Cool J, Rock the Bells, Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 43, Major 9, riding shotgun in the building. Yes, Happy holidays, everybody, man. This is that Christmas edition. Um, you heard that Apple of My Eye featuring Raphael Sadiq. Um, not only you produced it, but you co-wrote it, too? Produced it. You know, just that love that I yeah. play show, like, that, gotcha. that's forever for life. All right, With all right, the writers, all right. too, so, yeah. Off the album, Rather You Than Me, yes, shout sir. to Rick Ross, Rosé, we had him on the show, too. Um, but you also did Can't Be Broke. Can't Be Broke. I did. I had a verse on Can't Be Broke. Right. I produced I produce Running. What? Yo, son. With A Boogie, yeah. For, for, a boogie. Yo, for the small time you've been doing this, you, you landed some big gigs, my man. Yeah, that was all like these beats I made when I was in like college. You feel me? Like, right. I was in college making these beats, and I actually for Apple in my eye I got in trouble. You feel me with NCAA? So I almost got kicked out of school just what? for making that beat. You feel me? So yeah. <laughs> what? Because of the loud noise in the in in, in the in the dorm? Nah, or? nah. Well, it well, was money. Like, wow, that was yeah. like, how is this guy? That was you can't, you thinking can't you do selling both. crack or something up in there. I was like, I was trapping, trapping beats. Trapping you feel me? beats. So basically, I was, I, uh, why I kind of trouble for that. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, I was, shit, I was in school like 2017, uh-huh. 2018 when I graduated. Well, I ain't really graduated, but I did my fourth year and went to the league. But um, my junior and senior year was kind of hell for me. You feel me? Because I was like. My name was already pushing for mm-hmm. music when I was in high school. Right. You feel me? But once I got in college, it, it kind of grew on a lot of people. And um, when we dropped the, uh, when Ross dropped the album, mm-hmm. me producing that song was like, well, that was probably like the biggest thing in Miami at the time. And, right. You know, it kind of got to the school, then it got to NCAA. Especially like the school didn't care about it. Like, I appreciate the youth for that. You know, they didn't really like, 
they ain't really when it came to music um I ain't really get no help from the youth, but it was like they ain't really get into my business. Like, okay, right. you been doing it, so we're going to let you do it. But NCAA was like, uh -uh. yeah, you suspended, uh -uh. all that, boom, boom, boom. I wrote a letter, you know, just, you That know. thing hurt your feelings, didn't it? Um, nah, it ain't hurt my feelings because I been knew it was coming. You know, it was other people was getting in trouble for Worse. they likeness. Oh, you know, getting in trouble for your likeness. People making money from YouTube. I didn't know I could make money from YouTube when I was yeah. in high school, you feel me? So I wasn't putting out videos like that, but mm -hmm. I'm doing features and I'm making beats for so many people. So feel me like, you know, I was, man, I could have got in trouble badly, man. I made City Girls first hit when I was in uh, college. Say word. I promise. Say word. Yeah. Wait, okay, so everybody, yeah. in case you don't know, we're talking about the you. All right, one of the best college in the world, all yes, right? Sir. University of Miami. Like, a lot of kids would love to go to that school. Yeah. But at the same time, there's a lot of stars that came out of that situation. You know what I mean? Big stars, Talk, man. Uh, name me a couple. Spe we all know The Rock. Yeah, you got Ray Lewis, The Rock, Ed Reed. Shout out my brother, Ed Reed. Mm -hmm. um, it's too many names, man. I don't, if I go down the list of names, I'll be going to my class and classes way back, man. Matter of fact, shout out to my grandma. My grandma was part of the first graduating class. Wow. Out of you, the black graduating class. Yeah. First black graduating class. Yeah. You know, so like, just like history out of you is like, it's deep with me, you feel me? But. That, know. that. Shout out to everybody over there at University of Miami. We love yes, you guys sir. over here from the Rock the Bells crew. Matter of fact, man, um, let's play that Ross. Uh, can't be broke featuring Major Nine yes, right sir. quick. You know what I mean? DJ Epps, Saturday Night Ride. Let's get to it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Get the eggnogs out and all that. We're about to unwrap these gifts. Hey, Major Nine in the building riding yes, shotgun sir. with your boy DJ Epps on LL Cool J Rock the Bells Radio Sirius XM Channel 43. Now, we talked about the U. We talked about you coming out, uh, University of Miami, but you end up with the Cleveland Browns. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? What was your excitement like? What was that news like when that draft pick came through? I ain't going to lie to you. I wasn't even really You, you didn't want to go there? I wasn't even extra excited. I went third round. I ain't go to the, I ain't go to the draft. Mm-hmm. Um, Matter of fact, I had I had one of my big homies, like a, a real cool friend, a like family friend. Right. Told me not to go to the combine either, but I ain't listened to him and uh boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to listen to him, you feel me? But yeah, it all worked out and you know, God you know, God's willing, we third round. Right. Did my thing. Right. And yes, your position. DN, defensive end. Right. Yes, sir. Right, right. That's what's up, man. Um do you feel like you accomplished what you needed to accomplish in, in, in the football field? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, you're the first person to ask me that question, and I got to answer it, you know, with my chest out like, yeah. Right. You know, a lot of people, they um they goal is to be the best of the best. Or, High expectation. Uh, you know, win the Super Bowl mm -hmm. and all that. Like, me, I already knew business was business since I was a shorty, so I know playing in the NFL, that's just another job. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I just wanted to show, like, all the shorties, by, all the jits back in – in the city, yeah. in, in the town, Cass City, whatever, where you mm -hmm. from, Opelok or whatever. Right. Like, boy, we can make it to the league. Like, we ain't got to sit there and create players all the time on the right. game because I was there legit creating players now, you know, and that gave me motivation. Boy, go to college. Go, right. you know, go to the league, you know. And once I got there, I made my money, what I could do in that three years. And, you know, I could have kept going. You know, I ain't retired yet neither. But You didn't get hurt. No, uh, I got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? I've been getting hurt since since high school. You know, uh, real concussions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't broke a couple of bones. I had uh -huh. hernia surgery. You know. Uh, uh, but that didn't stop you, though. And, nah, I ain't gonna never stop me. You know, I ain't that. That wasn't even my reason for stopping. You know, my reason for stopping, mm -hmm. honestly, with football. Um, when it came to my my third year, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the contract year, you going to all that mm -hmm. and. My first year, I really didn't play because the coach said he wasn't too fond of me. And I knew it came from, you know, my music. You know, I had mm. celebrities in and out of Cleveland. Like, mm. you know, everybody want to lock in. Like, so um, it settled in. Either my when my second year came, you know, I balled out. I did my thing just from my time that I got, you know. Right. Just, you know, 
sitting behind some gangsters too. So right. getting in that play, you know, getting my chance, I did way more than what was expected. Right. And then, you know, third year, just, you know, becoming a man and understanding, like, it's a business. So when certain stuff ain't going how it's supposed to, it ain't always on you. You right. feel me? So I'm the type of person I always handle my business. You feel me? Like, you know, I don't let nothing get in the way of what I got to handle. You feel me? So, right. yeah. Um, That's what's up. That's what's up. I realized I was making more money with, you know, music. So It happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It happens sometimes. Uh, get outside. Uh, going back to the you, man. Shout out to the you. I'm going to just quickly tell you a story because the okay. you is something special to me as well okay I, you know yes, i didn't sir. get to go to college i ain't get but smash a whole lot down over there oh, you, know. <laughs> you know what i mean this light skin haitian was putting it down over there like no word. So probably don't educated, word. Yes, sir. Mean? <laughs> but yeah. um you know uh coming out of new york city coming to florida and, and, and learning how to dj and wanting to dj parties the you was special for me because there's something um, I don't know if it's still there, but it was called a rat skeller. The, um, there, it, it was, it was, it was a place. It was a bar. It was a, it was a place to eat. But at the same time, some of my uh, uh, friends or frat members was throwing parties in there. Mm-hmm. And guess who would be the DJ boy? You the DJ? Oh man, son, we would go in there and we would tear the walls down when they would throw parties. Shout out to my man Finesse Mitchell, comedian Finesse Mitchell. He was like the, one of the top dog storing parties out there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Finesse Mitchell, you seeing them on the Wendy Williams show, on, on the movie Caddyshack, and, and so much more. That's big. Um, so he's another one that came out to you. Um, what is it, Noops? Noops yeah, okay. yeah. Shout out to the Noops out there. Um, so yeah, man, I, I, I love going over there to the Rascala and just tearing it down in UM. And then that's when I moved up to South Beach and started doing my own party. So that's big shout big, to the man. you. That's um, big, man. Give me a song, man. Let me, let me play something off the album. What, what you want me to play, man? Come on, we here. Which route? Which route you trying to go? To, yo, what you want to go? Any, something that you probably gonna promote right after, shorty. Like we gotta get them prepared. Like, oh, we gotta go with the intro. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go with the intro. Cry me a river. Let's go. Cry me a river. That's that energy. It give you energy. You know, it, it talk to the people for real. So yeah. You heard the man, Major Nine in the building, Sirius XM Channel 43, LL Cool J, Rock the Bells Radio, DJ Epps, let's get to it. Rock the Bells, Sirius XM Channel 43, yes, I hope you're having a great holiday, I know we are, Merry Christmas to you, um, we're getting ready for 2024, Major Nine in the building, riding shotgun with me, Nine, what's, what, what we got popping for 2024? 2024, uh, more videos, uh, I'm... I'm really working on a whole nother take for February. Right. Uh, you know, February big. You know, a lot of a lot of my my supporters is female. So, mm-hmm. you know, dropping some music for them that they could feel. You know, actual like what they want. You feel right. Me? So once I drop that, we we on to you know we hit we about to hit New York, L.A. January like you know between the end of the January and you know just more moving around. Right. You know. Right. So. Tell me before you get up out of here more about the album that you just dropped. Tell me what do you love about it? Where are you expecting it to go? Um, Cause that shorty single, we're gonna play it one more time before we get up out of here. It's, yes, it's, it's crazy, man. Talk to me about the album. Um, nothing major. That just dropped on December fifteenth. Uh, this album right here, like, you know, I actually had to live after football. You know, mm-hmm. you know, I've been had my mindset on, you know, you could live like without football. Like I always had that in my mind, cause. A lot of people get stuck in, oh, I'm not playing football no more. It's like right. we get that PTSD that people in the Army have, you know, all that stuff. Like we we judge by so many people, is, uh, you know, all that. So just, you know, being able to live and, you know, I done started my family. I got twins that were just born. Ah, congratulations. Family. Yeah, you Twin know. Twin girls or boys? Nah, a boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. Yeah. Damn, my, boy, you both the type yeah, I, I I was blessed to have two beautiful babies, you know, and have a beautiful girlfriend to take yeah. care of. Just you know, have my whole little family, you feel me? So, actually being able to live and record some music, it feel like natural again, you feel me? So right, right. Yeah, this one right here, this probably one of this top two of my albums. You a family man? Uh, yeah, I'm a big family man. Taking care of what's mine. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm big family. Like around my family, we all us, we close. You feel me? So yeah. Listen, man, be careful out there. Cause yes, sir. You 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 know what I mean? You doing it? You killing it? And you know, they they still out there trying to trap niggas out there. Oh yeah, they mean? doing their thing. I ain't worried about <laughs> it. You feel me? We move smooth. So word yeah. word. Yes, sir. Um, 
you know what I mean? The album uh, 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 out right now. The single Shorty is out right now featuring Kodak Black. Who else is on the album? Man, we got, I, I kept it Dade County, you feel me? I could have went more yeah, you Dade did. County. I noticed that. Yeah, I got Bushy B on, on the album. Shout out Opa Locker, you know, that's yeah. Miami too. I got Bella, Bella Jr., that's my little sister. She, right. She's so crazy with it. Oldest Flowers on the Innocent Zone, that's actually my cousin. That's my real big cousin, you know. Right. He's actually known in Miami for like a lot of gospel singing and stuff, so... Yeah, we got it. Nia Amber, shout out Nia Amber. She featuring on the album too. Uh, right. You know, we kept it. We kept it Miami. That's what it is, man. Yes, sir. I recently had somebody on my show, um, my Celebrity Tuesdays, man. Um, talk highly of you, man. Uh, Appreciate whoever uh, that was. Uh, 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 nah, you, you, nah, you put in that work with old boy, man. Yes, sir. And and, and you know, he, he does great music, and he's a great, great, great businessman. Shout out to my man, Big Smooth Twenty Six. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, smooth. I go definitely do some good business with you. You know he doing his business himself. He know how to handle business. So shout mm -hmm. out that boy. Shout out smooth. Yeah, he he played for the U too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's big in the and oh man, <laughs> he put it yeah. down with his own little league too, man. Yeah, so, he played big for shout the U too. Twenty six yeah. for sure. Yo, everybody, get the album. Let them know. Appreciate you. Nothing major. You yes, know, go grab that. And, 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 and the stream and uh, single streaming everywhere. All right? Everywhere, wherever Shardy you steal music Kodak from. Kodak Black, get yes, the sir. album. Major Nine in the building. My guy, thank you for coming through today. Appreciate you for having me. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you and to your you family. And family. Same. Tell the kids Uncle Epps is here. Yes, I'll sir. see them soon. Yeah, we're going to pop up. I wanted to bring my boy today, but you know, Mama want to move around with him. So I wanted to bring my boy today, too, because he wanted to meet you. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. We're yeah. going to lock in then. Whenever we got some time, you know, I'm, I'm here. So definitely. let's do it. Everybody, you just heard it. Major Nine in the building. Happy holidays. I got another hour. I'm about to tear it down right now, man. So everybody, blast it up loud. Get the eggnog out. Get the alcohol out. Get the smoke out. Whatever, man. Pop get out. the loud out. Whatever. <laughs> we going to have some fun right here on LL Cool J Rock the Bells Radio, Sirius XM Channel 43, Saturday Night Ride, Major Nine in the building. Let's go. Appreciate it.